Hi everybody, it's Corbin, and today I decided to make something a little bit more of a throwback towards my historical stuff that I like to make. Now, I only really used one pattern piece, and it's by Simplicity, and it comes from one of their more romantic Renaissance-style shirts, and this is literally the only pattern piece I used. I can't remember what the pattern's called, but it is a Simplicity pattern, and it's very easy. All I needed pretty much was this circular drape part for the very top part of the shirt, and you can go, you see me cutting it out. And I just basically cut it out the way you're supposed to, and I leave it alone. The rest of the pattern pieces for this project are literally just squares. I didn't need a pattern for it. I knew exactly what I was doing and how I was doing it. Here you go ahead and see me sew the top part together so I can have the full circle, so I can measure it to figure out how long I need everything else. And yeah, you see me pretty much throughout the rest of these clips just sewing and pressing and sewing. I think you might get a video clip of me sewing buttonholes. It's not very exciting at all. Here's me pressing. And I, what I did with this was I did a French roll seam finish. So that way I could go ahead and wash the shirt once I was done. Which that is my preferred seam finish of choice. It looks the most pretty and it works the best for all of the projects I usually sew. Otherwise, if I don't do that, I zigzag it because I prefer to. It's faster, it's easier on me, and it makes it just functional so I'm not spending hours rolling little hems and seams. So, anyway, so as far as my historical throwback, this, the shirt is kind of like if a cleric had, a French cleric decided to wear all gray and pearls, which is something I love. It's a combination I love. I love chic, classic, clean lines sort of thing. So I did French hanging sleeves, which you'll get to see closer to the end, and they look very nice. They were a pain in the butt. They're the first time I've ever really sewn them into a garment, but I love the way they look. They're my favorite ever. Now, I'm not quite sure what I'm doing. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. I'm literally just sewing squares together. And I didn't want to bore you guys too much with just seeing me sew squares to squares, but that was about it. That's the story of this shirt. It is square on top of square on top of square with a seam finish, and it's not hard to sew. Um, it almost looks like I put a double of the clip in, but I didn't. What I'm doing here I'm is I'm doing the top stitch for the side seams, which I ended up doing a zigzag over because I wanted to make sure it was extra reinforced and extra secure. And I like the way it looks with the decorative nature of, like, a top stitching look like that. Um, so, yeah, uh, over the course of this period of time, it was actually very relaxing. It took me maybe two nights, two evenings to finish this. It wasn't hard because, again, it's all squares. That's the most difficult part is the squares. And it was a lot of fun. Doing the math portion of it was a little difficult, but, it, again, it was fun. Uh, if you like sewing, you'd enjoy just sewing squares. Oh, actually, these are me making the French hanging sleeves. I can tell that now that I'm looking at the the top, the where I'm at. Oh, the joys of sewing. Hmm. But yeah, it it was actually really surprisingly enough. This this project didn't take me long. I thought it would take a lot longer. Now here again, I am just lining up a square and stitching it. I believe that this might be the front for the buttons on the shirt. Because originally in the pattern, it doesn't, it calls for it to be one solid piece, but I wanted buttons down the front. So I had to add onto it so I could put buttonholes onto the project, which helped. And it was actually a lot of fun, I think. If I was to redo this again, I would probably simplify and not do as many buttons. But if you've ever seen me costume anything, I like excessive amounts of buttons. I, on this project, I used, it was 13 per sleeve, counting the cuff for each side, so that's 26. And down the front, I did another 26. So I had 52 buttons. I think that's right. No, that's, yeah, 52 buttons. So, yes, I love putting buttons on everything, and to the extreme of, this is ridiculous. Uh, I've sewn doublets that have 
I have one doublet that just straight down the front has 45 buttons, which is a pain in the butt to put on, and I don't think I've ever unbuttoned the whole thing after I finished sewing on all the buttons. So yeah, and now, in about five, four, three, two, one. Now, here in the video clip, I want to go ahead and I just wanted to show you guys the full thing with the sleeves. And I give you kind of pout, pout attitude. Look, look. Wink, wink. Nudge, nudge. My whole throwback towards, hey, I know I'm this shiznits. What you gonna do about it? So, yeah, it's very pretty. The makeup I did was very, very basic. I barely put anything on, to be honest. Um, it's not anything too dramatic. I wish... Looking back at photos, I had blended it out a little more, but yeah, it, it, it turned out really, really pretty. I like the way it looks. Um, the cross was by far the funnest, most active part of this whole thing, besides hand sewing on buttons, but I preferred making the cross. The shirt was fun to make. I hate sewing on buttons. I hate hemming. So that made this shirt that little less likable. So yeah, I hope you guys liked it. I hope everything looks great. Like, favorite, subscribe, and share with your friends. Bye.